Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. 2015 is drawing to an end, and what a year it's been for science in space. Crew members spent a whopping 1,900 hours this year working on 450 experiments on the orbital laboratory. Highlights? How about growing and eating lettuce for the first time in space as part of the veggie experiment? Something that not only brings a welcome taste of home to station crews, but will be a vital technology on a future journey to Mars. This is also a hallmark year for human research in space, with several investigations focused on the first one-year mission. NASA's Scott Kelly and Roscosmos's Mikhail Kornienko are at the center of a number of experiments pushing the boundaries on what we know about how humans live in space for extreme periods of time. And to keep everything running, there were plenty of launches, spacewalks, and more. Eight cargo vehicles carried supplies to the station in 2015, including two SpaceX Dragons, one orbital ATK Cygnus, four Russian Progresses, and a Japanese HTV. Four Soyuz crafts launched crews to the station, including the first Kazakh, Danish, and British crew members. Seven spacewalks also took place, upgrading the station and performing repairs to keep it in tip-top shape. And in November, the space station celebrated 15 non-stop years of humans living and working off the Earth for the Earth. As exciting as 2015 was for the station, 2016 is already shaping up to be an extraordinary year. The one-year crew is set to return March 1st, wrapping up 340 days in space, the longest duration mission ever in ISS history. And some major science payloads plan on making the station their home in 2016. The Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, or BEAM, is a lightweight, inflatable habitat that will demonstrate a new way to provide a comfortable area for astronauts to live and work, an innovative technology to help drive exploration. And to keep an eye on the Earth below, the SAGE-3 device will fly next year to monitor aerosols, the ozone layer, and other gases vital for improved understanding of climate change. And so we'll close this year with a special message from the crew for the holidays. Keep sending those questions in 2016 using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next year. Christmas is traditionally a time for friends and families to get together. And although we can't be with our friends and families this year, We'll be orbiting the Earth 16 times on Christmas Day and sending all our good wishes to everybody back down on our beautiful planet Earth. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and happy new year from the International Space Station.